Wago and sports fans, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I am Rush. And this is This Side That Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and riveting sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, 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 people. So today we have a, you know, a nice little, I don't know if I want to call it a game or a little discussion, but I'll call it a game. We're going to be playing a game of keep or drop with the reggae boys nation league squad right now because man, I like bro underwhelming is an understatement for the squad yeah, that we yeah, saw yeah, yeah, so yeah. i forgot you the squad player by player and say who deserves a spot in this team and who needs to kick out of that team right away what do you think about that quick and fast no, each and last. No, deal with it, but watch, you know, before we get into the video bro now i need the people to do me a favor hit the subscribe button that big red button the right there so hit that for me that's their way of showing your support Tell us that you like the channel. Hit the like button and leave a comment. So let's get right into it, bro. I'm gonna put up the squad and then we're gonna go to player by player. Let's go. Watch a pre now. Alright. All right. Let's work with this one. Yeah, see what I'm going. No, see it, bro. Alright. But first of all, before we record another squad, yeah. the squad drop, right? And you don't know JFF, JFF Instagram page. You know, post notification on. So once once I post make, you don't know we'll see what I'm going. Stay so bumps now and check the, the squad. When me I look. Well, if a people miss this, you know, but I didn't. May I go down the squad, may I go down the squad. I'ma see at a fry by grave mount peasant. Mm -hmm. And may I say Mount oh, Peasant. All right. All right. Then me see Earl Simpson on it gardens. I may I say. I am not sure which one are Earl Simpson, but I could have seen two Simpsons play for Arnett Garden and the two of them are different. Defender. You see me? I mean, I say, who I do this? Like, the administrative people up at JFF are just, them just awful, for, like, every single one of them. These are the first squad. We're going to go through the actual squad, though, because they did correct it. And this is the actual squad, bro. And, bro, to be, to be fair, when, when I first saw the squad, and I looked on it, and then I go back and look on it again for, for check, because I couldn't believe my eyes. My sister, the post tech down. So I said, all right, maybe the page got hacked. Yeah, and that's yeah. not the real squad that was called up, because yeah. they, they had taken down the post because of the typographical errors that they made, right? Yeah. But I was under the impression that maybe the website was just hacked, or the Instagram page was hacked, and then they might have actually put up the real squad. And then when it was re when it was reuploaded, and I was like, "All right, the post is back up now. Let me, let me see the ball of them now." Same thing, brother. The same thing again. Awful. But let let's get into into the video though, bro. We are go from we start with the three goalkeepers. And real All quick, right. we now go break down the squad, you know, because we are gonna do a live Tuesday, and we are gonna really yeah. get into the nitty gritty of the squad. So we now gonna say too much talking, but we want to do a keep or sell and just give a quick reason why you want with a keep or sell or you both sell or drop the player. So. Goalkeepers. First one, Andre Blake. Keep, keep or keep. jump? Number one, captain. Nah, I'm one of the best players for the team as it stands. So keep. Yeah, that one to explain itself. Yeah. I agree with you. Keep Andre Blake in the squad. Next yeah. up, Amal Knight. Keep or drop, bro? Um, Based on the circumstances, I would say keep. You know, I don't mind going with Amal Knight. Obviously, there was a, a the young keeper when named Corey Adai. I yeah. would have brought I would have brought him, but Amal Knight him, you know, whatever. So keep Amal Knight keep for the sake. Bro, of you know me. right now, you know right now, me I be rootless, bro. Big man thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop Amal Knight. But like yes. Amal Knight is a goalkeeper, but drop Amal Knight. Dylan Bounds are my second string. No, as in, but we we got to Akim Chambers, so we yeah. obviously drop Akim Chambers and bring Dylan Barnes. All right, so here we okay. go now. Me I say me a drop Amal Knight, and all right, let's say Corey I died then for Amal Knight. Come yeah. me, me a drop Amal Knight. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Akim Chambers. Drop yeah, Akim. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, oh, oh, my dad is making back in another team. You know? Like, you have a hard time I stay up on the field for Waterhouse, to be honest. Like, so, uh, as I say, drop, obviously. You know, Dylan Barnes, Corey I die, Andrew Blake, or Dylan Barnes, Amal Knight, Andrew Blake, but no Akim Chambers, no, no M name, Dennis Taylor, no JD White. Should be Dylan Barnes, Andre Blake, and 
core other from this point. Can we agree on that? <laughs> right. Akim Chambers for me, straightforward drop. You see, like how oh, Andre Blake was a straightforward keep, this is a straightforward yeah. trap. I don't even understand this inclusion of the squad, bro. Like, this is just baffling. But as I say, people, stay tuned. Can we have a break on the squad? Yeah, we have only for say. Defenders, bro. Damien Lowe, keep, keep or drop. Keep. I have to keep Damien sure. Lowe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. One, one, of the best, one of the best defenders right now in Kankakaf. So, we, yeah. we are lucky that we have a Damien Lowe on our team. Fast. Not much to say about that one. Richard King, keep or drop? Keep. Like keep yeah, Richard I, King. Yeah, I think Richard King going forward makes all, all the Jamaican teams going forward. You know, I think he's, he's a, a talented young player and a good fit in this Jamaican team. Right. All right. I agree. I'll keep i keep Richard King. Next up, Javin Brown. Drop yeah. or keep? Based on the circumstances, I have to keep Javin Brown. Circumstances? Yeah, as in, as I said, um, I think the right back position is is one of our weakest positions. You know, Javier Brown, based on it, based on his last few performances, leaves a lot to be desired. So I want to see an improvement in the right back position, but based on the circumstances, based on this nation's league and what we could have managed to conjure up in the short period of time, I would have said keep for Javier Brown. Yeah, um, Javier Brown, Javier Brown, I I keep. I keep, yeah, I'm not as critical as you. And if we can get an, up, an, up, an upgrade, I would take it, but I don't, I don't think there is a committed right back out there for Jamaica better than Javian Brown right now. Right, but, right. yeah, keep. Where would they know? Jamo and Topi. Drop or keep? Drop, bro. <laughs> so, so many other defenders that, that I would have loved to see. Like, what makes you? Huh? What, why are you dropping, bro? Like, why would I drop it? Uh, people sometimes say I'm too harsh, so I'm trying to be a bit more politically correct. But I just don't think his standard is at the level to represent the national team at this current juncture. Like, does, does that sound politically correct, no? Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. But for me, <laughs> and, and I'm usually more politically correct than you. I'm going to tell you straight up, bro. Jump my topic, get dropped, brother. Like, that sure. game against Catalonia. I guess that was the game to prove that you can make it into the Nations League. And if anybody proved that they shouldn't be in the Nations League squad, it was Jamal Etope. So I don't even understand. If anybody proved that they shouldn't be in the squad, it was Jamal Etope. That's Bro, what he proved. Crazy. The crazy was in the field against Catalonia. But for me, drop. Drop. For sure. So, Kenry, Campbell of Cavaliers, another JPL defender. Drop our key. Drop again. Too Pretty many. Straight too many talented defenders at our disposal for us to be digging in the Jamaica Premier League for defenders that I don't I don't even know them. You get me, sir? True, true. Too many talented defenders, like Michael Lecter is committed. Um, we have Ethan Pinnaker, Liam Moore, they might be injured, but there's also Wes Hardy. You get me, sir? Um, we, we saw I say, bro. We saw a lot of people there walk Hey, up. hey, they all go up on the... I know it's hard for go up on the rant to them, bro, because I try to control myself the same way, you know. Because we're so mad at this, but as I say, we're going to break it down. So don't give them too much of the sauce, bro. What do you say? I drop Ken, Kenry Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I drop Kenry Campbell too. But right now, I don't mean, have too much time for the JPL players in the national team right now. As I say, people don't know my opinion already. The JPL should really be a development leader now. A league and and something for four speed players out there into Europe and America. I don't think it should be anything that we should be looking for players for the national team. But that's just me. Oh, let's shit. go. Let's go to Amari Bell. This is a new uh, uh surprise one. Keep for me. This is somebody yeah. that I've been I've been wanting back in the program. And it's so weird. Sometimes you you finally get somebody where you want in the program and then you lose like three. How does that make any sense? You mm -hmm. know. JFF, not because of some of my bed means they don't want to lose everybody else good for the team. Right. Jeez. So you give me Amari Bell and you don't give me Greg Lee, like then what the point? Anyway, <laughs> I, I agree, bro. I would keep Amari Bell. I feel like yeah. he's one of the better um, left backs. And left backs. Going forward for Jamaica, mm -hmm. then it has to be. It has to be um, Amari Bell. I agree with you. I agree with you on that one. Let's go. Earl Simpson, I think he's the Arnett Garden center back. He's one of the better defenders in the Premier League. I've watched, I've watched Arnett and I've seen him, but keep or drop. Drop. I agree. Again, it's the same, same explanation. Jamaica cannot be fielding a team to go and represent us in the Nations League 
and be having so many JPL players in the back line alone, not even in the back, what is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first ten, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven JPL players in our defensive ten. That's a lot. That's a lot. Come Anyways, on. midfield. Devon Speedy Williams of my NFC. The mm -hmm. USL. Drop or keep? Keep. We keep Devon Williams. Yeah, as uh, based on based on what we have at our disposal, like who's for sure committed, like who who's willing to play first. I think Devon Williams definitely makes any 23 man squad that Jamaica puts yeah. out. So for the squad, keep. I agree. I'd keep I'd keep Devon Williams also. I don't think it yeah go have a um a midfield four or five, and Devon Williams don't make it. Yeah, you know, we don't have our minds to say that. Let's go with the Ravel Morrison. We need to out of our minds. Like I think the case can be made. You think that we have five better than than Speedy? I think if we look hard enough, definitely. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say out of your mind, but I think as it stands right now, I yeah, think available to us. Yeah, yeah, I think he's a keep. Ravel Morrison, dubbed the best player on the team. Yeah, keep without a doubt. Not he's a keep. Just Not much to say. Yeah. Um, Tyreek McGee again, surprise inclusion. Um, bro, as I said, we have we have too much quality, you know, the likes, the likes of of um a Bobby Reed or a Daniel Johnson. You get what I'm trying to say I came on roof, maybe. Um to 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 have Tyreek McGee be included into this team. So um I, I would say drop um for Tyreek McGee based on what we have available to us. Yeah, in fact, it's not even a hard decision for me. I drop, I drop Tyreek McGee, struggling for game time at, <laughs> domestically. Yes, mm -hmm. here in Europe, but we're not getting much of it. I don't even know the form that Tyreek McGee is on, bro, to be selected for the national team. He's not playing. He's not exactly. Playing so this is a this is a job for me, straightforward job. Kevin Lambert, been out of the, the, the setup for a minute, but he's back in. Yeah, um, I guess he's back in to answer the CBM question that many people have been asking. Paul Hall, um, he's an okay, an okay player, and you know, I think he should be in and around the squad. I don't know who else is available to us, so I'm not certain whether I'll keep or drop him. But I'm not like I, I would say on the fence on this one. I'm not sold in either direction, if that makes any sense. I hear you. I hear you. Um, for Kevin Lambert, I would drop him. I would drop him. If I was supposed to pick my best 23, I'd drop him. I think we have a Kevin Stewart. I even Anthony Grant at his age right now is better than a Kevin Lambert for me. Yeah. So I would if I was supposed if, if the question is pick your best 23 for the Nations League, Kevin Lambert would not make my best 23. So based on that, I would drop him. And the questions I'd ask, and I guess we can save this for a live on Tuesday, but like, what about the Lottie Bodiers and the Cousins is it, and the Hutchins? Is it that they haven't gotten their passport yet, or were they just not calling? Bro, we don't know. And this is, this is some of, these are some of the things that I'm going to talk about on the live, bro. Like, the lack of communication and respect for the fans is just, it's awful. But anyways, where are we? Where are the errands for? I would, I would say... Yeah, I would say keep, you know, mm -hmm. um, somebody that I, I think should have been introduced in the program. For a while, and I think he he's a good addition to help consolidate our team. Mm. You know, not a bad player. I I, I agree. Um, I'd keep this one. Excited. Yeah. In fact, I'm excited to see what Orlando Irons have to bring to this team. Uh but yeah, I'd keep that one. Junior Flemings, Flemo, where are you? The dropper, I keep Flemo, bro. Mm, I have to drop Flemo. Yo, we have too much talent at our disposal. Too many quality players. To be having um Junior Fleming in the team are based on his performance in Catalonia. I think I think he kind of warranted a call up if we're going to base it on that performance. However, based on the players that are available to us, I just don't necessarily think that he will have what it takes to, to make his way into, into a, a 23. So as it stands out, drop Junior Fleming. I agree. I agree with you. Um domestically is getting to the, towards the end of the season, he was picking up some game time. Um, still not enough for me to be making it into my Nations League team, so I would drop Junior Fleming's also. And as I said, we said for a lot of the players already, we have too many talented players that we can call on, but we keep on calling for the same people that have let us down over and over. But <laughs> drop for me, okay, Sir Chung, drop. Not ready. I agree, bro. 
Drop that. Yeah. yeah. No, again, no. same reason again, bro. The options that we have. Yeah. Leon Bailey. <laughs> Uh, as long as Leon Bailey is even 70%, Leon Bailey is, is in this team. Just uh, earlier, you said Rafael is the best player. I disagree. Leon no, I said dubbed, dubbed the best player. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I, I yeah, think Leon Bailey, Leon Bailey Jamaica's <laughs> best player. It's an obvious keep. I agree. I agree. I keep Leon Bailey. I don't know why I take so long to say that. But <laughs> keep yeah. team, Leon Bailey. Um, Kayim Paris. A surprise. Oh. I'm not even going to say a surprise call up. A good call up for, for Kai. Finally, like finally, you know, a long, long, long awaited, a well deserved call up. And I think even with the um riches of talent that Jamaica is spoiled with, I do think Kai Paris has demonstrated his ability time and again to finally grace a 22, 22 months. But he's a young player and, you know, he's doing very well domestically and I think this chance is something that even amongst the best of them, Kain Paris deserves a shot in a rebuilding Jamaica team. So I would keep Kain Paris. I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. I'd also keep um, Kain Paris. But when they think about a Jamaica team in recent times, they think about Alex Marshall getting on the field. They think about a Daniel Green getting on the field. They think about a, a Lamar Walker being a main Nicholas star. Nelson. Nicholas Ness. You would have to think that Kain Paris should be ab above those guys. Yeah, sure. so well deserved. Congratulations to Kai Paris. You work hard and great. I'm not going to say great, but a, a very good season. And mm -hmm. you deserve your call up. So I would yeah. keep Kai Paris in the team. Daniel Green, drop or keep? Um, I have to. I, I would say drop, bro. You know, too much, too much talent, too much quality. I would say Daniel Green is having a, a very, very good season in the Jamaica Premier League. You know, arguably an MVP season. Um. Keep working hard, and you know, I think, like at his age, you know, with some more development, he will be going overseas soon. Right. You know, I can I can see that happening, and um, I do think he's a talented young player, you know, and definitely one for the future. But I just don't think he's necessarily ready to be in this squad at the current moment. So drop um, him. I hear you. I, I, I also drop Daniel Green. I must say though, give him props, bro. One of the best players in the Jamaican Premier League, um, up there with Bygrave for goals. You know, getting some assists on the board. He is one of the younger players in the league also. So what I would say about Daniel Green, he should be on the fringes of the team. But yeah. he shouldn't be no mainstay for the last four or five games, Daniel Green in the team and starting. Yeah. Not for me. So drop. Yeah. Um, excited for this one, bro. Shamar Nicholson. Yeah, for sure. Or keep. Keep, keep, of course. You know, um, not much to be said about Shamar Nicholson. I'm happy he's back. Definitely like him. Mm -hmm. All right, I agree. Again, not much to say about that one. That yeah. one. Jamal Low, drop or keep. Been a keep. minute. Yeah, been a minute. I don't know why it's been a minute. Because Jamal Low plays well when he plays for Jamaica. And he's a quality championship player. Oh, my apologies. He's a Premier League player. You know, so um, definitely, definitely somebody that I like to see in this Jamaica squad. Definitely a player with a place in our team at this current juncture. So keep. Right. I like that, bro. And Jamal Lowe, I'm excited to see again. You see, like I'm saying, run on the irons. I'm excited to see Shemar Nicholson, run on the irons, Jamal Lowe, and Liam Bailey. Kai in Paris, too. Because even mm -hmm. that Catalonia game, I want to see more now. Mm -hmm. You get me? I say so. Jamal Lowe is one of the players that I'm excited to see. Keep the final player on the squad list. Atta for a bygrave. Um, drop has, or keep? Has to be a drop for me, bro. You know, um, I just don't think Atafari has the quality to be playing at the CONCACAF level as it relates to internationally. He's just not there yet. You know, um, he's playing at a Jamaica level, only managing to score at 12 goals and 11 goals thus far, which is good um, in relation to his peers. But I mean, somebody playing for Jamaica should be dominating his local league. At his age, he's supposed to be at the edge of his prime, like exiting. Mm -hmm. Should be, should be, um, should be better. Has to be better. It's not good enough to play for Jamaica. So I would drop my grief. We have too much good forwards or too many good forwards to be called out of fire by the team. I hear you. I agree. Just like Daniel Green, he's one of the better. Play he's one of the best players in the Premier League right now. Um, probably the best. Not even probably. He's the best striker in the Premier League right now. So, as I said, with Daniel Green, he should be on the fringes of the team and say somebody, um, fell to an injury. Or something, something happened with short notice and he can draw for somebody from the Premier League that's on the fringes of the team. That's that's the light that I see Bygrave and Daniel Green in. If you understand what I'm saying, not, not players that should be on the team sheet 
as one of the first players. So on the fringes for me, but a drop for the sake of this video. Bro, I'm gonna throw one in there now. Paul. Hall. Right you now, bro. If 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 it is Paul Hall who is selecting this team, bro. If a Paul Hall has, I mean, we can't say if because Paul Hall is the person selecting the team. I don't think and if, so not, and if you are selecting it, then leave what, the job. What are you doing here? Anyways. Exactly. Anyways. So drop. Best based on this team. Yeah. Based on this call up alone, your Paul Hall, you do not inspire confidence in Joe Margram from this or that sports TV. I'm telling you that straight up. I'm looking at the camera. Paul Hall, not good. Approval ratings are dropping fan. But yeah. if you manage to make wine out of water, we praise you. I don't lie. For me, Paul Hall is a keep. Uh, yeah. Disappointed. <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> disappointed with the score of Brazil. But I want to see more. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to those press conferences, bro. You know, we need to get into some of these press conferences because yeah. the question them now nah, asking, you know, we, yeah, need to know what, we need to know why Dylan Barnes start against Catalonia, but not even get a spot in the Nations League. We need to know that. Like, we need an answer to that. As dumb as it sounds, we need an answer to that. Make it make sense. Like, man, I get it. But this is it, people. Communicate yeah. with us. Talk to us. We want to know who will you drop from the squad? Who will you yeah, keep well, in this? In the comment section, because I know I know a few of you guys like one one um made the world a better place. You guys always like to leave some some comments interacting with us and uh, something we appreciate and something we'll see so we have a call out and big on our feet. List the squad and tell us drop or keep, you know. Yeah. And in that breath, share the video with five people. Because if each one of our subscribers can get us five subscribers, do you know how many subscribers that will get us by the end of the day, people? Enough, bro. We'll just go to work and yeah. do what I'm saying, do the damn thing. That's right. Well, yeah, people, for now, this is said that sports TV. Oh, before me even do that, bro. Okay. Live on Tuesday, we will be breaking down this squad. We have a lot to say. We have then so we have people to always try to digest the information that we get. We don't run to be first. Because we realize with this, bro, we will never be first. Somebody even yeah. try to be first at this point. We want to get good information, good analysis, good discussions. Yeah. Tuesday, people. We have a lot to say. Check it out. But for now, this was inside that sports TV. Well, love.